guys and welcome to my channel if you're new subscribe if you're returning hello um by the title of the video you obviously know this is going to be a thrifting haul um i like thrifting i love it um it's like crack to me because i can do it all day every day um i thrift for myself because i don't like like buying myself clothes it's just like way too expensive the clothes the like higher brand higher brands that i can find like clothes from my and stuff like that i sell it and i make money so this summer, like, I have two jobs already, and this is kind of like my third, so I'm making money while doing the stuff I love. Um, I just have like a couple, not a couple, like a lot, but a couple, like in between of stuff I have accumulated over these past couple of days. Yeah, go ahead and subscribe if you like this video. So to start off, I got this Bob Marley shirt. Um, typically, I just go to the main section first because y'all have like the better stuff. I don't know why, but um, I like oversized t-shirts because I can just put some sweatpants on or some leggings or some jeans on and just go to class, and it looks like a decent fit, at least I think. But I got this from $1.99 from Goodwill. Um, the second thing I got from Goodwill was this Reebok hoodie or a windbreaker, and this is nice. Like this was only $4.29. Which is not bad for a whole windbreaker. Um, I really love like vintage clothing. Not vintage, but like you know old windbreakers, how that's it's in style now, but I've been wearing them. Um, the second t-shirt I got is I don't know what cartoon this is. I don't think I've ever watched this in my life before. But this was also one one ninety nine. It's kind of just like 90s vibes. And it looks nice. The third item I got from Goodwills was this Columbia windbreaker. I really just trying to find like a light colored one because I have a bunch of these dark windbreakers. But this was all this was $8.99. And Goodwill's expensive, like they know what people are looking for and like they hype up the prices. But I guess this was okay since it was $8.99. So I can just like wear this. This is like a spring fall fit kind of. I think the last thing I got was from Goodwills was these. And then I washed them, and after I washed them, I like looked at it, and I saw it has like a stain on there. Um, I kind of know how to like cut jeans into like boyfriends. I walk around with a stain on my pants, but I got these for like five dollars. They're like just basic mom jeans. So that was oh, actually no. And then like the last windbreaker, they had a lot of like windbreakers there. Actually, no, I didn't get this from. Okay, hold up. I think that was everything I got from Goodwill. Um, Goodwill is highly expensive because their set rate for everything is like four dollars, and four dollars is a lot when you're really like buying something thrifted, buying something that they didn't pay for in the first place, and like just upping it to like four dollars and four dollars for a t-shirt, like. Nobody's gonna do that. Nobody wants to pay for that. So I went to another like mom and pop thrift store, and those are the best thrift stores because they have like more discounts and in deals. But I just got one thing. I should have got more. Um, this was only like 81 cents. Everything in their store was about 75 or 50 percent off. But I got this. What is this? Chaps. Um cardigan this is not a cardigan like sweater this looks like this is like preppy and it kind of looks out of style but i promise y'all it's not because it looks good with a nice like business casual type look um i forget where i got this jacket at oh i went to salvation army and i got this um i got this there this was about i think this was I don't know how much it was, but like four or five dollars. Um, it had shoulder pads in it because this is like from like the 80s, but it looks really cool. Doesn't really have anything on the back, but it's like um, it was only like four dollars. But Salvation Army is high key expensive too because I was in there and they had like hella new products from like Zara and they didn't even like really mark them down. They're like forty dollars for some shoes. Shoes should not be forty dollars at a thrift store. Period. Um, I also got a coat, a little coach bag from there. It's like a little crossbody, but I put it somewhere safe because 
that is something I am going to sell. I hike wanted to keep it for myself, but if I can make money off of it, I'm going to sell it. And I know this like background is like low key wrinkled. Um, please don't be in my comments, Jalen, about it because I try ironing it, but I really don't feel like doing that right now. Um, the today I went to like two other thrift stores. I got this dress. It's like a nice business casual dress from where was I? From Ohio Thrifts. Um, you guys kind of can see it. But this was $2.99. It was alright. You would think this is the bottom, but this is actually the top. I got this for $0.99. Cents. My boobs are not going to fit in here. <laughs> They're so small, but this bodysuit is a large, and I got it for got it for a dollar. So Express is also like... I think the last thing I got from there were these men's Tommy Hilfiger pants. And I'm obviously not going to wear these. I'm gonna sell them. I think that these had like a little stain on them, but that's like washable. These were $5.99. I think these are ugly, but someone gonna buy them. Um, what else? We got more stuff than I expected. Okay, and the last thing I got from Ohio Thrift. Ohio Thrift. A lot of y'all are probably not from Ohio, but um, I think every state should have, like, every state has, like, a thrift store. But I got these, another graphic tee. This is Muhammad Ali, and it says, great of, of all time. No, I don't like boxing. I don't know anything about boxing, but it's a nice shirt, so I bought it. And these oversized t-shirts, like, you can wear them out, but I also just, like, sleep in these because they're so comfortable. The second thrift store I went to, I didn't get a lot. I only got two things because everything in there is just... Today wasn't a successful thrift store day because I only got a couple things. Um, I got this Forever 21 crops top sweater thing for $2.99. Um, and this is not old because I know like a lot of like thrift stores have old Forever 21 stuff, but this is like relatively new. And then, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna wash all this stuff. Disclosure. I got this bikini top forever and I get in shape for $2.99 as well. And then the last place I went to was Goodwill again. And sis at the counter hooked me up. I don't know who you are, but thank you. I got these Zara Basic Collection Edition shoes. And yes, these are a size six. I can't not fit no size six. I'm a size 11. Um, I'm actually gonna sell these because Zara is a really good brand to sell. Um, the one thing I did that I'm gonna keep I don't think I'm gonna sell it, but this is a brand from Nordstrom. This was $14. It still has like it's where's the thing? It's tagged attached. Yep, $14 is a bodysuit. So hopefully whenever I get my body, did y'all see that? Whenever I get my body right, if I ever get my body right, I can probably wear it. And then the last thing I got was this coach purse. Their stores have a lot of coach. And then you gotta find it for the low and then you can sell it for the high. But that is this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, all well. Um, subscribe. I'm gonna put my social media in the down bar, so go ahead and subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys in my next video.